welcome back to another episode of In Depth. My name is Luke Hardacre, and I'm a surf coach at Ombi. If you're new to Ombi, we take a look at surfing from the perspective of ocean, mind, body, and equipment. In this podcast, it's all about straight to the point tips, things that you can take away, implement into your surfing, or things that change the way you view your surfing. And this week, I've got a really exciting topic that I love. It's for the old school surfers, they're probably going to be nodding along through this one. Uh, it is pretty much how you learnt when you were an old school surfer and you did not have the internet and you didn't have all these videos, you just had a VHS. So as always, I will start this one with a question. And that is, can you see yourself doing better surfing? In your mind's eye, can you actually visualize that and can you see yourself doing better turns or better nose riding or whatever that may be that you're visualizing this is for you to imagination and to figure out like can I actually visually see this if you can't see yourself doing better surfing and to fill in all those gaps this may be a great trick for you to help to connect the dots with putting theory into practice or overcoming bad habits and hurdles what I'm talking about here is that you can't visually imagine yourself doing something how are you going to expect yourself to do it it sounds a bit odd but there's so much power to this if you were to walk down a cliff or climb up something you start looking for how will you go about doing it you start connecting it all together some movements you know by instinct and don't need to think about but for those harder ones you have to start thinking about how are you going to achieve that and this is exactly what your surfing may need in this instance if you're struggling with cross stepping bottom turning doing a cutback whatever it is you want to be able to visualize yourself doing that movement and doing the full movement how is your body moving what needs to move where are you looking when are you timing it what part of the wave the list goes on and on it's either going to sound obvious to you or it's going to sound weird but think about it this way if you don't know how to do something properly or even just enough to start figuring it out, how do you figure out how to do it then? For those who are unfamiliar with this, this is pretty much how your favorite surfers learn to surf better. Before the age of the pro surfer and the surf coach, this is pretty much how people went about trying to make their movements better. They watch endless clips of surfers in an attempt to mimic their movement. There's a really, really good current clip of Pat Godowskis doing just this for Tom Curran. Uh, there's a link in the show notes for this one. And it's all about how he goes about looking at Tom Curran's moves and making his bottom turn better. It's really good watching. So he's mimicking Tom and then he's visualizing himself doing those same movements to create a similar bottom turn. And that's what he wants. That's why people want to like have style. And when we say, I want to surf like Steph and I want to surf like Mick or I want to be this person. This is what we're trying to do and you've got to visualize to get that. So it's so powerful. And by visualizing that movement, it's forcing you to work through it. If you want to copy Tom Curran, you want his bottom turn, then you've got to break it down into those basic steps or parts you can visualize. Keep it simple and then imagine yourself and applying that. If you don't understand a part of the movement, it will confront you to address it. You have to then figure out how to do it. And this is where your theory now starts connecting to you putting it into practice. You can see what other surfers are doing and things may click within your surfing. It's immensely powerful and can sometimes be self-validating in knowing what to do or giving you that light bulb of, oh, so that's what I've got to do. Right, eh? let's do it. But it doesn't kind of end there. There's also using visualization to get over things and that sometimes we can be stuck in our own bad habits that getting past them can sometimes be a difficult approach. We have our Mind Surfer program that goes through all of this and guides you through your pop-up, bigger waves, turning, flow, style, all of that. But to do this on your own though, take the time and sit down and visualize and think about what it would be like to not have those issues holding you back anymore. What would be different in your surfing and how you would just do rather than holding yourself back. It's really powerful, but needs you to confront issues in your surfing take the time to really identify the cause of that issue and not the symptom. So in summary, if you can't visualize or imagine yourself 
doing certain things in your surfing, how are you going to expect yourself to do it? By looking at other surfers and trying to visually mimic their movements, you can work through the movement, connect theory to put things into practice, and just have more fun with it. If you want to do the same to get over issues in your surfing, you need to first confront that issue, find the root cause, and then imagine what your surfing would be like to not have that in your way. So this has been a really quick episode because this is what it needs. It's short and sweet. Go watch someone surfing. Go figure out how are they moving? How do they do this? Just look at it. Have a go. That's all it takes. Like for most people who love surfing and if you're consuming this podcast, you probably consume a ton of clips, YouTube, Instagram, whatever it is. Just take that time on your little work break where you can't be bothered doing something and try and dissect what someone's doing. Figure out how are they moving? What happens here? What happens next? When they move their arm like this, oh, they're creating lift and they're twisting through. So I want to ask you, is this something you already do? Is this something that has just given you a big light bulb moment? You'd be like, ah, oh, yes, this is going to help me. Or is this something that you just go a big fat hell yeah or a hell nah, that is not for me. I'd love to know. You can reach out anytime either message me in the app or send an email to info.onbio.co. If you want to improve your surfing, we have our surf training programs. We have our dedicated beginner and intermediate pathways, which are step-by-step training programs for you to follow along with each week or each session. And then we also have all of our maneuver deep dives. We have one training program on under just a specific maneuver. We have a growing list every month. So you can sign up, do a free trial and go through all the training. Otherwise, if you've been loving this podcast, it'd mean a lot if you just left a review, whatever it is, an honest, good dude, whatever you want to say, um, or share it with a friend. If you think there's someone that you think should hear this, then it'd mean a lot to us. Otherwise, next week, I'm going to be diving into how you can improve your style and technique, regardless of what you're writing. This is such a quick fix. I love it. You might be familiar with it, but I'm going to be breaking it down in quite a lot of detail. So it's an episode not to miss. So until then, I'll see you next time.